Welcome aboard Sailing Frida of Bisbee. This is the dream. Today we do some exciting excursions in the lovely Colatra Anchorage before we leave Portugal sailing to the charming town of Ayamonte in Spain. We have quit our working life to sail the world with our sailboat, our P47 pilot saloon and our cat Litsa. My name is Anders. I am Gitte. Make those videos for fun as a way to document our journey and share our adventures at sea and in the places we visit and maybe some tips and tricks that we learn on the way. It's our hope that we can entertain you and maybe give you a little inspiration for your own adventure. Start heading south, where we sailed the Atlantic coast of Europe for August. Part of Orca made us change our plan. We made a 2000 nautical mile long detour around Madeira and their source. After that fantastic adventure, we could finally enter the port of her police and go into the Mediterranean Sea. And make sure you subscribe to continue follow our adventure. I'm going to check out that little island. I think they're collecting uh, mosses or something. A bit curious. I'm going to leave an excursion with you. This is the island that I was missing when we arrived because it gets flooded every high tide. This delta of Ria Formosa is famous for it has a lot of birds and it is a baby chamber for sea life. Look at the fish. It washed up. A bit slippery in the seagrass. The locals use those flooded islands to collect mussels. More or less submerged. I think, I think this one is actually totally submerged. But I think that maybe that island over there, there might be some a little bit grass that keeps dry even on <laughs> What a cute place! I don't have proper shoes so I can't stay for long. I think that's Kulatra is a very idyllic place, but the airplanes kind of ruin it. It's right next to Faro Airport. Cute little island. We will come back with the dinghy and some shoes <laughs> instead of my kayak shoes. But I still haven't found a really good spot for the dinghy. And that was the best I can find. I'm not sure if, if it's allowed or if it's for the locals. I'm now back on to Colatra this time with proper shoes so I can do some grocery shopping. There are a few mini markets like this one on the island uh, where you can do some basic provisioning but the price level is not cheap. Now I've been shopping so now we can stay here for another couple of days. Hello! It's not, it's not much current, so it's no problem. And you have a guard cat. She's my lifeguard. She will meow loudly if anything happens. You should see her eyes. Uh, I love how this big and totally round. <laughs> hey, it's strange to get into that water. <laughs> Oh, 
Sumatra Anchorage at night, a Friday night. So it seems to be some kind of party or outdoor concert. like this view of the office. I'm going to do some more editing. Apart from the editing, we also plan to do a little excursion. Can we would like to see if we can find where the seahorses are. I know roughly where they are, but I don't know exactly. Hmm, it's not only us that likes the new dinghy. We have visitors. Looks like Lisa has found a good place. Now we are the other end of Konacha. So incredibly nice. Calm, the wind had come down. It's quite windy this morning and when I have my my laundry, but now it's completely calm. We have done a nice dinghy excursion. I had no idea if we, I managed to film the, the seahorses. And now we are going to have some nice barbecue. This is actually all finished. I just give them a little bit of barbecue uh, sauce and spices. This is wonderful. This is, this is the dream to be able to stand like this to make a wonderful dinner. What I think? What's the dinner? I might take an evening swim. A nice andas. Relaxing. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. Anders is doing an engine check because we will leave Natra tomorrow and sail towards Ayamonte in Spain. Now we are leaving Culatra Anchorage. We've been here a couple of days and it has been wonderful relaxing. Bye bye! And we are leaving. When we think that there will not be as much current in the gap where we are going out, well, the tidal creates quite a lot of current. It's a nice place and I can see myself coming back here. We are now heading for the border between Spain and Portugal. Uh, it's going to be extremely calm weather. I'm not sure we are going to sail at all, uh, but we might be able to sail a little bit two towns, um, Vila Real um, something, <laughs> on the Portuguese side and on the Spanish side, Ayamonte. And I think we are heading primarily for Ayamonte. 
on the Spanish side. And uh, so that means we are leaving Portugal and entering uh, back to Spain. That's fish. Quite a lot of fish. And as you can see, there is just enough space for our dinghy. The weather is nice, but I won't say that it's exactly sunny. It's kind of small haze. It was the same yesterday, so it never got really clear, but it's nice and warm and very calm. Behind Alice you can see Colatro Island that is known for its beautiful beaches and clear water. The island and has a population of 1,000 residents. Almost at the gap now. And it says campaign. Get over there. Tell me how you left the land here. Yeah. And that's the way you're sitting. But it looks kind of cool. Yeah, I'm sitting over there. <laughs> I've given you a towel. You, you, you like to lay on towel. No, she has to be on top. <laughs> highest point. Typical Lita. She always wants to be on the highest point, even though it's uncomfortable. <laughs> From the anchorage, when it's high tide, you can, you can almost not see this island at all. So it looks like you're laying in the open water, but you are not. Not go on an adventure. And as you can feel the color current, it's about a knot. And I think Lisa is telling him about all the birds we are passing by. I can see we are the second boat that are leaving. Hey, Lisa. <laughs> You're going to Spain. Why do you have to work on your Spanish catish? Huh? So you can talk to the cats there. Huh? So now we are at the gap. We have about one and a half knot of current with us. See that this little fishing vessel. And this is where there's a warning for going through here when it's solid winds and when the current is the strongest. Because nasty swivels here. Confused, I would say. But I think Litza is the cutest and most dedicated bird watcher on board. Because we have very light winds. They are not. It's not that bad. Ten knots. Ten knots. That's a little bit more than we thought. Yeah. We thought. Yeah. You men come up there. Okay, Captain. We want to go there, and that's where the wind comes from. So we have to. Tap. We're doing a little bit above five knots anyway. In. Yeah. Eight to ten knots of wind, so. And that was more than we um, expected. Yeah, so this is nice. This is fine. And you got a second cup of morning coffee. Yeah, in any hurry. So. Uh, we have six hours to sail, a little less than thirty nautical miles. Yeah. Okay. If we arrive a little early, then we will have the current against us when we arrive to where we're going. But if we arrive a little late, we will only have more and more current towards with us with us so it's it's fine if we arrive a little late it's an allure 
French bowl in aluminium. I remember when we were looking for boats. I I, I, I liked uh, the interior especially, but Anders is not very fond of aluminium boats, so therefore it was ruled out. We have an aluminium dinghy, that's enough. And I have an <laughs> aluminium booster back home. So you're not totally against aluminium? No. The whole crew is enjoying this calm and comfortable ride to watch. I want to. It is slow. A little too slow. I'm exercising hand steering because I'm not very good at it. Today is very light condition. Calm, calm sailing today. It's a little bit of haze, but still the sun comes through, so it's nice and warm. And despite we are sailing quite close to the wind, <laughs> it's no wind. <laughs> but we are sailing. How fast are we going now, Anders? Four knots. Four knots. And uh, how much wind? Seven. Seven knots. Hi girl, we're to going to be out sailing today. Yeah. I am on the, our destination is supposed to be a charming town located on the banks of Guarana River. The Guarana River marks the end of the Algarve coast, so that's also the end of our Portuguese adventure. And from now on to Gibraltar we will sail along the Spanish Atlantic coast, Costa de Luz. Okay, the river. Portugal and Vila de Santo Antonio on this side and the city of Ayamonte where we are going. We have got a berth for tonight. Exciting! It's always fun to get to a new place. And what's fun about this place is that I don't think it's as much tourists because neither this Portuguese town nor the Spanish town is like famous tourist resource. And I think I can see in the Portuguese marina, which we are not going to, mixed reputation. Some says it's really good, other says not so good. I'm going a little bit further upriver and to the other side where the Spanish marina is. There you can see the bridge that are connecting the Portuguese and the Spanish side. We will take the dinghy because I want to go to the Portuguese side. There's a marina tied up. Maybe not the prettiest, but we're here. This is our new home for the next couple of days. Chandler here in Iamont. It's not very big, but quite well sorted. Huh? The staff speaks excellent English. And the same candy store. She's one of the squares. Aymonte is a very old town with both Roman and Moorish influences. And at the restaurants you will find a lot of delicious seafood. First dish out of three, so I think we, uh, we will, will survive. We will not be hungry when we go from here. 
dat is nummer 2. En daar came de squids as well. Very small squids. Looks great. Wat zei je? Ik vind het dat ik het Ja, dat kan we Det var kan vi se. Ja, så är fortfarande mätt. Ja, men en kaffe kan man alltid. En <laughs> kaffe kan man alltid med. When you need a lot of power. And only have a little power on the boat. And there is a lot of power on the dock. Yeah. This is three times 32 amp. And I need one times 16. But that's the only thing they have on the dock here. Yep. So, so we need this to get power from the dock. Let's see. If everything burns down, then that was wrong. Can you explain what you are doing? Doing worse than taking this away again. <laughs> you're, you're making a mess. I'm okay. Ma making it harder for myself. So. Since I understand one wants to say it, he is doing a new uh, pull-up system for the dinghy because the new dinghy is heavier than the old one, and I thought the old one was a little bit heavy, so I asked. Wouldn't it be possible to make it so I can use the winch? And then it will just fly up. Uh, and Anders said, yes, it's possible, but we need a longer line. So that's what he's doing. Hopping up to a longer line. Yeah. And had added some extra blocks. And, and a clever little system here to make that slide so we can pull it outwards so that the dinghy won't catch the grill. And then you can pull it inwards to have it to hang as close to the back of the boat as possible. Draw. This is all good. Oh, it's Okay. Okay. Vänta, vänta. Det ser ut som vi behöver ta ut dem här lite till. Jag att de kommer fortfarande in på. Mm. Ta ut den lite till. Vi har den här till. Inte behöva göra. Jag ska flytta knuten. Okej. Okay. Okej. Okay. Har vi fått ut den här? Ja, den. Ja. Då är vi likadant på din sida. Nu tar vi det sakta och då ska vi se vad vi gör. Jag tar inte den ska vägra för då kommer den inte in under. Vi ska ju dra in den nu. Ja. Kom igen, dra upp lite. Okej. Okay. Stopp där. Så. Oj, bra. Okej, okay, då kan du hissa en centimeter till på hitra, men väldigt lite. Fram. Här på framtiden. Men... Stopp, 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 lite. Tack. Och sen på andra sidan. Och långsamma. Stopp, 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 stopp. Jag ser härifrån att man drar ihop blocken. Okej. Okay. Den här kroken är, du gör lite långt. Okej. Okay. Men den är ju, den är ju bara en centimeter ja, ja, den här. Ja, visst, den är jättebra. Den är ju högre än vad den någonsin har varit, den gamla. Ja. Ja, ja, ja. Den har aldrig kunnat hänga utan spännen så här högt någonsin. Nej. 
Och det här gick ju ganska lätt och smidigt. Mm. Task accomplished. We can hang the new dinghy on the davits. And we can hoist them with the help of the winches. So I'm happy. Are you happy? I'm super happy. Little dinghy excursion. We are going back to Portugal. This is fun. <laughs> it's not fast, but quite comfortable. And very silent. And very silent, yeah. What the difference to go in this thing compared to the other one? Yeah. So with it, we're going. That's a ferry. We were not allowed to stay here, so we have been told that we should go where the ferry is. So we'll try that. Well, we found a place for me, and we are back in Portugal. I mean, Vila Real. San Antonio. The city has about 10,000 residents and the streets are straight and fairly wide with a big rectangular square in the middle. It's not as old as Aramanto, which you can tell by the regular pattern. It was founded in 1774 in the same place as a fishing village that was destroyed by the big earthquake and tsunami in 1755. After walking around in the city, it was nice to sit down at the British pub and get some nice cider. Now we say goodbye Portugal again. And hello Spain. Mm. Är det mig som går här och pysslar med jollen? Ja. Med jollen och pennen. Det är ju så. Med alla båtprojekt. Det tar lite längre tid än man tror. Ja. Thank you for watching. I hope you liked the episode. If you did, leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. See you next time.